Yo, what is up everybody? Jethro Game, welcome back to another Nutri Reaction video here today. And today we got quite the interesting video that we'll be reacting to by the great Swat Kage. And as you can tell with the title, that is Naruto Fights We Never Got to See. So folks, I'm sure all of us on the Naruto fan base can come up with various fights we wish we could have seen in the Naruto storyline, right? I can think of a few right now off the top of my head, but I'm not going to say them because Swag might talk about them. I'll definitely give my two cents in between the video and after the video, but there are definitely tons of fights I wish we could have seen. I think it would have been quite legendary, but hey, we got what we got. And either way, it was still an amazing narrative from beginning to end. But yeah, this is going to be very interesting. I can't wait to see what Swag has to say. But before I begin, you know, any of us really appreciate it. Hit that like button, turn on bell notifications to see if they yours truly. And if you're new and you enjoy and you mess with the kid, make sure to hit that sub button, man. I want you to become part of the family forever. Let's not waste more time, screen. See what Swag says about this. Yo, how's it going, everybody? Swag Kage here. Welcome to another Naruto discussion video. Today with me, I have uh, my my pal, my sidekick, Clyde the Weeaboo. What up, uh, Clyde? I, I, I don't really know if a lot of you guys have been asking about him, but uh, I'm sure some of you thought he went oh, missing. Oh, wow, that's insulting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, As they, I was... they've, clearly missed, they've clearly missed me. But yeah, no. well, no, every single comment I received was actually asking about your whereabouts. But he's here, and uh, as you can clearly see for yourself, today we're going to be talking about Naruto fights that we would have liked to have seen, but never actually happened in the actual series. Right. And, uh, I mean, I guess, uh, yeah, this is just more of me um, inserting my own fucking uh, Naruto fanfic wet dreams mm -hmm. in <laughs> onto YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> juicy little discussion really I, we won't go into all the intricacies of the fights themselves but we just <laughs> this really video would be we... like 24 hours long <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it really would it'd be like an hour per fight but yeah. yeah we just want to cover a lot of the fights that we would have liked to see uh, rob and i talked about a lot of these stuff in the background before recording the video and we did find a couple of ones that would have been pretty goddamn cool yeah like series, so, legitimately yeah. like top tier anime fights that i think like everybody would unanimously right. enjoy and hey if you want to see us uh, cover, you know, some of these fights as, like, proper versus battle videos, you know, you can just let us know in the comments, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do that. Now, um, one thing that I should specify before we begin is this isn't, like, just random matchups that we would like to see because we think they would be cool. Like, right, right. Like, Tobirama versus Kisame is an example of one that just couldn't happen. It doesn't make sense. Neither right. Neither of them were alive at the same time. Right, and exactly. there's no real way for you to set something like that up. Something that's more feasible is uh, we'll just go ahead and get into our number one, Indra versus Ashura. Well, like, we, we got to see this in the anime, right? It was in the form of a filler, but it was a pretty shitty filler. I didn't like the filler because of how it characterized Indra and Ashura. Indra just had, like, all of Sasuke's Fair enough. abilities. And Ashura just had, like, a mix of Hashiramas and Naruto's. He had, like, a super Rasengan before the Rasengan was even made. Like, it didn't it didn't make sense. That filler didn't explore the characters well enough. I think, like, if we had actually seen, like, a, a serious flashback of a battle between the two where they had, like, unique movesets, uh, I think the fight would have been really cool. I think it would have been, like, Hashirama versus Madara, but on fucking mega steroids. It would have been sort of oh, like yeah. Naruto oh, yeah. versus Sasuke, really. It would have been cool because, um, like, the thing that made Madara unique, for example, when he first got his Sage abilities was that he whipped out light style and it's like wait we haven't seen this before yeah. which was which was really cool and indra and ashra didn't really have any unique standalone abilities of their own they agreed just had like yeah. kind of like rehashed versions of sasuke and naruto's abilities so it's yeah that was a bit of a letdown it wasn't rehashed versions they literally just had naruto and sasuke's yeah, but powers that, yeah you, you, you get what i mean though yeah I, I know like it's like indra had a Matarasu and a purple perfect susano and it's like what the fuck is this uh, you know, like, I I'm pretty sure everybody wanted to see this fight go down. We're kind of just preaching to the choir here. So, uh, before we move on, do you Agreed. have anything you want to add to that? Or uh, no? I think it just would have been cool because to show how overpowered those characters were, like, it would have been purely for us to just sit there and jerk off over how OP the characters would have been. That's that's yeah. probably the most exciting part about it. I guess it would have given us a neat precedent for the shit that was going to go down with uh, Obito... Madara, and eventually Naruto and Sasuke, and I right, guess right. Kaguya a bit. Speaking of Kaguya, another fight that would have been cool to see. I think we also got this in the filler. I didn't really pay too much attention to any of the Naruto filler, actually. I just, you know, briefly, like, skim over it. But, um, it would be a uh, Hagoromo and Hamura versus Kaguya. I mean, that fight was kind of, like, hyped up in the moment. That would have been nice this, to like, see as well. Titanic clash that, like, the fate of the world rested on. And, uh, I, I imagine the fight was really cool. I would have loved to see a full-power Hagoromo fighting alongside Hamura. Hagoromo has both Naruto 
and Sasuke's abilities. Like, he has, like, all of Madara's abilities, but, like, and then some. I mean, again, just like Indra versus Ashura, it just would have been a really cool fight. Yeah, it, it, it would have been, been nice. hyped to see how they would have, de- you know, it would have been hyped to see how they dealt with Kaguya back in the Most day. Most definitely. Was, like, that was pretty, pretty ruthless. Like you said, it was. It, the fate of the world was literally at stake. Yeah, and it also would have helped provide a little bit of build up for Kaguya. Let's say if that was, uh, you know, a couple chapters long as the Sage of Six Paths was explaining what was going on, then you'd be like, oh shit, is Kaguya going to show up? And then she does, and it still would have been annoying that Zetsu backstabbed Madara, but uh, I yeah, think that'll it would forever have been be annoying. <laughs> to swallow if the Sage of Six Path had directly mentioned her. I agree. Know, right before she appeared, it would yeah. have felt like it came less. Yeah, out of it, it definitely would have led into the story a lot smoother rather than like, oh well, there goes Madara, fucking rip. Well, now, I know she was mentioned once before already. The series did dabble on her. I'm only getting this out of the way because of comments. Like, I know people are going to be like, but Swag, they did talk about Kaguya in the series already. And I'm like, well, yeah, I know, but, like, it would have been nice to see her fight beforehand, if you give it to me. Oh, she's trying. <laughs> let's, let's move on. Uh, let's move okay, on. Uh, so moving on to earlier points in the series. Like, this is, like, pre-pain. I think Sasuke should have gotten more fights as, like, heavy Sasuke. Like, pre-MS. I that was a pretty cool version of Sasuke, to be honest. Shit. He was very cool. cool. opponents for him. I've already talked about one of these, but I would have liked to see him fight Jiraiya first. I would have liked to see Hell him fight yeah. more members of the Akatsuki, as a matter of fact. Seeing Absolutely. Match up against Sasori would be awesome. Uh, Kakazu would be really cool as well. A fight with Kisame would be pretty decent, but I, I don't think it would be nearly as cool as fucking like Kakazu or... Uh, especially not Jiraiya. I've already made a video talking about Sasuke versus Jiraiya with Seth, but uh, see, Seth disagrees with me on the outcome of that fight, whereas Klein, he, uh, he thinks that... Our boy Sasuke would come away with a That's double. a tough yeah. one to really yeah, analyze, man. Why do you think we, the fight we, we would be did, entertaining? Um, <laughs> well, we come up with a, an actual situation of how it could have happened because this isn't just us picking characters and matching them up, obviously. Right. We're talking about things that could have happened. Yeah, like I said at the beginning. A situation... Yeah, yeah, a situation. All right, so I just want to say this on that specific matchup, right? Because that's a very debated topic within the Naruto fandom, all right? So when it comes to heavy Sasuke versus Jiraiya, it's quite tough to put your finger on where exactly they are power scaling wise what i would say about that just to give my two cents on that quickly because that's a very very interesting matchup to talk about jiraiya i believe was still considered a top tier shinobi at the time i know heavy sauce has got a big boost in power and all that but i don't know i don't know man i feel like he wouldn't beat jiraiya necessarily but i wouldn't be surprised if he did my take is this. I don't think Sasuke was at the level of three pains, right? Because Jiraiya fought pain, right? And he took out three of them. So that's half of of pain, of the pains, right? So you got to ask yourself, is Sasuke three pains worthy strong? Is he that strong? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Jiraiya and Orochimaru are somewhat relative. Also keep that in mind. There's somewhat relative. I believe Orochimaru is stronger. I think he'd win in a battle. I think it'd be tough. It'd be tough for him to beat Jiraiya, but I think he'd beat him. I think they're relative to some extent. And as we all know, Orochimaru, I think, at every point, up until his death, when he was just a shell of himself, I think he knew he could take Sasuke's body if he wanted to, but he was nurturing Sasuke's body, nurturing Sasuke's abilities, and building him up to become what he wanted, wanted him to become. Right? He wanted to build him up into a very powerful shinobi. He wanted to build him up into a suitable and worthy candidate for him to right, to take over. He wanted to take over his body. So I don't think Sasuke would beat Jiraiya. I just don't think that makes sense narratively with the power scaling progression up until that point. That's my opinion. I know some people probably disagree, like Swag and Clyde. Right, at least at the making of this video. I don't know about now, but yeah, that's my thought process when I think about that. Let's continue. The situation I gave to, to Rob was like, what if let's say while you know Jiraiya was somewhere out on a little journey as he occasionally does, and then he accidentally runs into Sasuke and he's like, Alright, I'm gonna try and bring Sasuke back for the sake of Naruto because you know he obviously cares about Naruto. They get right. into an exchange of fisticuffs and then they end up fighting. So yeah. that's a possibility. That would have been amazing. Uh, amazing. Or, or he hears that Sasuke killed Orochimaru, quote unquote. Mm. Right, he's right. Like, yep. Yeah, this kid is way too dangerous at this point. You know, like maybe he seems like a decent person, but like I, I got to shut him down. Maybe bring him back to the village because we can't have him running around like a, you know, as a rogue ninja anymore. 
uh, it, it's, it's just, you know, too much of a problem. He nearly killed Naruto, Sakura, Yamato, and Sai. Uh, I, I definitely need to put him down. You know, something along those lines. And I think the fight would be really cool, especially depending on the location. Because, you know, if it was somewhere with a lot of corridors, like the village hidden in the rain was... Uh, like I mean, that would be really cool. To see Whoa, because that would, it would be just amazing. Be fucking nothing but tactics. It would just be them trying to figure each other out. Uh, you know, hiding while they formulated strategies, coming out. You know, like just all these crazy hit and run tactics. I think it would be a lot more entertaining than say like where Sasuke fought Daedra, which is which was this like wide open field where you don't really have yeah. any room. It's to like stop some random place. forest or uh, yeah. any setup or whatever. Right. So like something like maybe like a forest or whatever. That would make for a pretty cool fight between Sasuke and Jiraiya. And regardless of the outcome of the fight, it would it would be a really cool character moment for Naruto to have to speak to Jiraiya and J for Jiraiya to say, look, Sasuke is way too strong for you now, dude. Like, there's absolutely no way you would come out alive if you fought to the death with this kid. Yeah, uh, let's let's be specific. Like, during that part of the series, because I know Naruto fans are going to go fucking mental if we even imply that one's stronger than the other. But, <laughs> yeah, it's it's honestly... I mean, you can't. You can't they, imply. That, that they Sasuke was stronger so that they at that because, point in time. Uh, Jiraiya was kind of in a Hokage-type position where yeah. he would have been like, All right, I've got to deal with this. Tsunade can't leave the village. This is something that I can do in my spare time. And on top of that... You know, regardless of how much of a cunt Orochimaru was, I think that Jiraiya did care about him somewhat, and it would have upset him to see that he's being killed to an extent, so he well, does have more incentive to go after him. If Agreed. not that, what I think it would... Like, the message it would send to Jiraiya is, like... He, it seems like he has no loyalty, you know? He has, um... He doesn't feel responsible for anything, right? Aside from killing Itachi. He doesn't feel like he has anybody to answer to. That's incredibly dangerous because he was strong enough to take out Orochimaru, somebody capable of assassinating the third Hokage. And granted, he was sick and all of that, but I don't know if Jiraiya would know the extent to which that was, like, hindering Orochimaru's abilities. Like, right. I'm sure he heard that Orochimaru went toe-to-toe -to -toe with, like, four-tailed Naruto, so he'd be like, Jesus Christ, Sasuke took this guy out. He wouldn't have to know that Orochimaru was bedridden. I agree. Uh, That's a good point. That's a good point. In like a one-on-one -on -one fight to the death, Orochimaru fighting all out, lost, and that would definitely scare him. On top of that, he may have heard that Sasuke killed Daedara, which would be another... Re like, that That would alarm him a lot. He'd be like, Jesus, Daedara took out Garo with next to no effort whatsoever. This guy's, like, fucking Kage level. He can't just be allowed to, like, you know, just roam the streets freely like this, doing whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah it, it, those it are some good points. A, a pretty realistic thing that could have happened. And just to see how Sasuke would have dealt... Because he's a very tactical fighter. That's something I've always loved about him. Uh, to see how he would deal with a lot of Jiraiya's juices and stuff, that would have been such an amazing fight to see. But Most yeah, definitely. I think, I think that's a pretty good hypothetical one. What about... Would have uh, been legendary. Yeah, Sasuke versus Kakazu is another fight I'd like to see. Like I said, I'd like to see Sasuke okay. fight a lot more of the Akatsuki members, particularly Sasori, just because of uh, how um, how tactics based that fight would be. But Kakazu very, in particular very, would yeah. be pretty good. Now, I'm not sure if Sasuke would be able to beat Kakazu, and I'm not saying that Kakazu's stronger than Jiraiya. <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't know if he'd be able to deal with all of the tools at Kakazu's disposal, just because I think Kakazu's it's more of a hard counter. Uh, but I, I mean, yeah, no, no, like there's just so many reasons why that would be fun to see. Uh, I'll try and uh, not talk about Sasuke so much. You know, people could be like, yeah, talk about people that are Uchiha. <laughs> so, um, moving on, Kakashi versus Guy. Why didn't Hell we yes, no, that was just a fight that sort of demanded exactly to be shown. And we needed to see yeah, that. Been, cool as a friendly little sparring session it, you know it doesn't have to be serious but it just would have been cool to see how they did because they did all those competitions with each other but they never really fought each other which would have been cool like i i, I would have just liked to see that for entertainment i agree or not, it impacts the story obviously we can't have eighth gate guy versus ms kakashi no, 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 it, it would not be really, <laughs> realistic at all it, it no hell no that's all uh, I, I think, you know, that'd be a, a lot of fun. Don't really have much else to say about that. I'm just surprised by the fact that it didn't happen. All right, and uh, basically the last one that we, we sort of talked about a lot before recording this video was actually that we never got to see Madara versus Jubito. That shit would have been fucking hype. Uh, go, go into it, Mr. That Mr. would have been a very okay, fun now matchup. Now I get it. Now you guys are probably fucking, like, foaming at the mouth. Like, did he just say Madara versus Jubito? And I'm like, okay, now listen. Look, I don't think that Madara would have won, like, Of course not. And, well, let me let me go ahead and specify. This is, like, base Madara with Sage Mode versus Jubito. No, I don't think he would have won effortlessly, but it's implied that Madara was going to uh, absorb Hashirama's Sage Chakra and use that to fight Jubito because when Naruto and Sasuke extract the Jubi from him, 
Madara's like, oh, thanks, Naruto. You saved me quite a bit of trouble. And he forces Obito to cast Rene Rebirth on him. And uh, then, you know, gets ready to um, retrieve all of the tailed beasts again. Now, this implies that he was going to fight Jubito himself in order to extract the Tin Tails manually and become its Jinchuriki after having Obito revive him, of course. And the only way for him to do this would be by stealing Hashirama's Sage Chakra. And now this would be fucking crazy. Like, imagine how quick and how impossible to touch Madara would be with Sage Jutsu. And, you know, Obito would still be getting used to controlling the Jubi. He'd probably be a little bit fatigued from all the combat with Naruto and Sasuke. Uh, Madara, thanks to reading the Uchiha Stone Tablet and having more insight into all of this shit thanks to Zetsu, would probably be able to deal with the truth-seeking orbs. Obviously, he's not, like, as fast or as powerful as Obito, but it just would have been a really cool fight to see. Madara would have been doing all of this crazy it would have been cool, shit yeah. for the sake of diversions. Like, yeah, I, think I about, mean, like, what do you think? All right, so... Think about all the times when Kakashi fought people, for example, and the way that he would, like, have five steps ahead planned, all right? Now, picture this with Madara, because this would be the first time where Madara is actually fighting someone where he's at risk of losing. So, I would have liked to see how Madara yeah. would approach a fight from a tactical standpoint. And on top of that... Right, where he's not just swinging his sack no, into the it, person's it, face. It would have it would have been cool. Right, because right. Like, imagine seeing Madara set up Jutsu. He's like, he's got, like, three different months planned ahead. He's like, all right, I'm going to do this, and a substitution, hit him with no, something. No, that's... That would, that would have been That's so exactly Madara. what I was saying the uh, the appeal of this would yeah, be. Yeah. Having to see Madara push himself. Because uh, that's I, one of the things that I think is the coolest thing ever. When you see a villain, like, when they're getting pressed and they have to start trying, like, their absolute hardest, and you see, like, that they're, like, straining themselves. That would have been so cool with Madara, and we never got that from him. It was just him shitting on everybody, and I would have loved to see him, like, mm. try his absolute hardest in this fight. Just being in the Sage modes itself, mixed with the Renegon and his already amazing Taijutsu, like, he's gonna be slipping around, like, barely getting hit ever. Well, Fuck, yeah, just seeing him use the Renegon to its maximum potential in uh, combination with his, like, wood style, his fire style, his Susano, like, all of the... Imagine him sicking all of these Sage Mode wood Susano clones on Obito and having Obito forced to deal with all of that crazy shit and while Madara was and, just, and like, And it was going to around. happen. It was going to fucking happen. Fucking Naruto and Sasuke he basically cucked us. Yeah, I know. Naruto had to talk no jutsu us out of the craziest fight in the series. I think that that would probably be my number one fight. Like it, it would have been uh, amazing. Or, I do agree with that. Uh, the fact oh, that it, like, imagine if they happen. made it like three episodes long. Oh, I fucking seem in my pants. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, it would have been that would have been a great fight. With the list, we could always go. Check out Clyde the Weeaboo's channel. Link in the description. Wait, wait, just a second. Yeah, let me let me shield. Let me shield. Yeah, guys. So uh, I haven't been uploading in a while because um, I'm lazy, but. I, I am check I am, out his channel. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am uh, editing a pretty cool bleach video. So if you do go check out my channel, that's an incentive to go. Great check video, out. guys. You to, but if you do, very good matchups. Uh, I would have loved to see. I would love to see all money. of them. Yeah, make me money, and you're welcome. <laughs> Please get. Clear all right, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to react. <laughs> all right, guys. There you guys have it. That was a great video. It was very interesting to think about and to hear them give their fantasy matchups all right and i think yeah all those would have been very interesting as far as that last one they talked about madara versus jubito i don't think madara would beat jubito again i go off based i go based off the narrative and the narrative was jubito was just vastly stronger than everyone on the battlefield right i always use the barrier feat his barrier was stronger than four hokage's using all their strength to make a barrier. So his was stronger than theirs, right? And keep in mind, Hashirama has a Sage mode when he made his part of the barrier. Minato had his QB cloak out when he used his part of the barrier to make to make that part of it. So that implies that Jubito is stronger than all of them combined. I doubt Madara would be able to beat Jubito. I doubt it. I think he'd, do, he'd be vastly stronger than Madara. And I love Madara, but I'm being objective here when I take into account the feats that took place in the narrative right in the narrative is jubito is way stronger than everybody else he got takno jutsu that's how he got defeated takno jutsu right there had to be this deo sex machina type of event for him to lose he's one of those characters he needed some vastly unrealistic outcome to occur for him to lose right and that was naruto going into his subconscious and convincing him to join the good side that's what happened without that they're not beating the guy they're not going to be able to. It's not going to be possible. He's too strong. He's too powerful. It's as simple as that. 
right? So in my opinion, Mater would not beat him, but I'd still like to see it. You know, I still like to see it. And I never say never. Maybe with the right tactics and the right strategy implemented, Madara could beat him. Who knows? But yeah, that's my thought on that. Uh, my guy versus Kakashi, that would be an amazing fight to see. I would like to see him go at it pretty hard, though. I know not, they're not trying to kill each other. They're best friends. But I would like to see him go at it, like compete for real, and see what happens. You know, Kakashi is known as the guy with just a ton of natural talent and guys known as a guy, no pun intended, that worked his ass off to get to where he is. And he became a taijutsu god, literally. So it'd be very interesting to see how his taijutsu does against Kakashi's Sharingan, you know, Kakashi's wits against guys, brute, amazing taijutsu. That would be very, very interesting to see. I would love to see that. I wish we could have seen it. That was definitely one of them. And that Sasuke versus Jiraiya fight, man, that would have been amazing to see as well. That is a very... And mo that is a very, very realistic fight. And probably the most realistic out of all the fights that they talked about here, right? That would have been spectacular. I really think they could have built a beautiful storyline for that. What I think is that there would have been this really serious talk between Naruto and Jiraiya. I think Jiraiya would have told Naruto, Hey man, I know you want to bring him home at all costs, but I have to stop him. I have to stop this guy. He's able to take out Akatsuki level members. There's no way... That you're going to be able to bring him back with the power you have right now. It's not going to happen, dude. I have to go myself. I'm sorry. I know Naruto will probably be broken. And he'd have to swallow his desire to bring Sasuke back. Because Jiraiya would go out there and face him. Right? In my opinion, like I said earlier, I think Jiraiya would win that battle. I think he's just more powerful still. I know Sasuke killed Orochimaru. But again, it was a sick one. A very sick one. He was on death's door at that point. He's probably a couple hours, if not minutes, away from death. If you watch that part in the anime or read the manga. He was dying, literally. Kabuto was shitting his pants. He's like, oh fuck, he's going to die. He's dying right before my eyes. If you remember, he came in. Orochimaru was all fucked up, coughing, dying. Literally dying on his bed. He was literally on his deathbed, so... Sasuke beat him. He still beat Orochimaru, right? He still beat him. That's impressive within its own right. But he didn't beat even the Orochimaru, the, the Four Tails, the Four Tail Cloak of Naruto. He, he He's not even that strong anymore. He's weaker than that. You know, he was still, he was kind of sick when he fought that version. But he was on death, he was on death's door when Sasuke and him fought. So keep that in mind. Jiraiya healthy with Mon Pa? I don't know. I don't know if Sasuke beats that, man. I really, really don't. You know, Jiraiya is a very good strategist. He's similar to Naruto in a sense that he's just a maverick, right? I like to call Naruto a maverick. His maverick personality, his maverick nature, his unpredictable nature. He's not extremely tactical. He's not a Madara or a, or a Sasuke or an Itachi, but he's a maverick. And that's what makes him special. That's what makes him win these battles, right, with the battles that, he've, that he's won in the past. Right, against Kimi, Kimi Maro, how he pressed him a little bit. Yeah, he didn't win that battle, but he pressed him with his maverick nature with the Shadow Clones. Um, against Kakazu with the Rasen Shuriken. All the battles he's been in, he's always been a maverick. I mean, shit, even against Kaguya, he used sexy jutsu, right? The sexy transformation jutsu to throw her off. Granted, Kaguya was a stupid-ass character. I know she was strong as shit, but she was the dumbest character I've ever seen. Definitely villains-wise. But, again... Naruto is a maverick type of personality. Jiraiya is the same way, right? He's just more mature and more wise. So he would use that against Sasuke. It would be very interesting. Sasuke is no pushover, obviously. He's an Akatsuki plus level opponent at that point, right? It would be very interesting to see that fight. I would have loved to see it. I think everything would have been perfect. The buildup, the suspense, the fight itself. I think it could have been implemented beautifully within this within the storyline of naruto but unfortunately we never got it but that's fine if i had to name some other fights myself now i would have liked to see now i think this is kind of realistic as well itachi versus obito that would have been nice to see as well right i think obito is stronger in my opinion right especially against sekitachi you'll probably beat him i would have loved to see that right let's say 
Obito doesn't want to wait anymore. Let's say he says, I'm going to the village. I'm taking Naruto. I'm sorry. I'm done waiting. Itachi would be like, no, nah, man, it's not happening. You're not going to the village. The village is my... He would have probably outed himself. He's like, fuck it. I am not really with you guys. I'm undercover. That's not going to happen, dude. You're not coming in here. All right? And knowing Obito, with the pride that he has, he probably would have said, the rest of you guys, and I'm talking about the Gosuke, he'd probably say... Leave Itachi to me. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of this. And I think they would have, they would have went at it. They would have went at it, and it would have been a fight of epic biblical proportions. That would have been beautiful to witness, the Kamui versus the versus Itachi Sukunome or Sukuyomi, excuse me. It would have been spectacular. Obito's Kamui, Itachi Sukuyomi. It would have been. I, I don't even know how to explain it. I would have loved to see that. I would love to see it. I think it wouldn't be easy for Obito. It wouldn't be easy. Especially if it's a more healthy Itachi. It would be quite difficult. He has Amaterasu. He has, you know, his secret weapons in the Yadamir. And his his Susano. The Totsuka Blade. Right? And keep in mind, he still has the Kota Matsukami. He still has that crow in Naruto. Well, Naruto would have to be there, right? Um, there, I have to keep that in mind. But he still has that. So, it would have been a very interesting battle. That's one I would like to see. Another one I'd like to see is Sasori versus Orochimaru. I don't know why. I know they had their beef, right? Sasori never liked him. He never liked him. He was using Kabuto as a traitor, right? But Kabuto was really working for Orochimaru the whole time, right? When he went to the to the bridge and all that. That would have been nice to see. Maybe Orochimaru and Sasori settled their beef. For real. Sasori's like, hey man, I don't fuck with you. I don't like you. You betrayed us, and now you're going to die. I'm going to kill you right here and now. That would have been a hell of a fight. I think Orochimaru, healthy Orochimaru, would probably win. Probably win. He's a very, very powerful individual. I mean, shit, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hokage. He fought Orochimaru, excuse me, he fought Jirai and Tsunade without fucking arms. Like, he's a monster. He's a real monster. So that's a fight I would like to see. Uh, what other fights? I'm trying to think off the top of my head here. Neji versus Rock Lee. That would be a good fight. Maybe when they're young, right, in the, in the tuning exams. You know, Lee with the gates versus Neji's Byakugan. I would love to see it. I would have loved to see that fight. It would have been spectacular. I guess Itachi versus Pain, right? That's a topic in my channel specifically that a ton of controversy revolves around, right? Itachi versus Pain would have been pretty lit to see. They're very tough characters to pit, pit against each other, right? There's a lot of variables that go into this and into the analyzing of this matchup right to speak briefly on it it could go either way those are one that's one that is neck and neck there's a lot of narrative implications you can make about both sides and there's places where you really gotta just debate right like itachi's sukuyomi would it affect pain some people think no because pain has a superior dojutsu with the renegon but however, there are anti-feats that contradict that statement, such as when Obito was caught by Kakashi's Sharingan in the Kamui dimension when they fought during the war arc. I talked about this in a video I made. I'm not going to get too much into it. I'm sure some of you guys have seen that video, Itachi vs. Pain. So you could debate that statement. Also, the big one, the Chibaku Tensei, right? When Nagato and Itachi were Edo's, people like to say, well, Itachi wouldn't be able to destroy the Chibaku Tensei. Right? He needed Killer B and Naruto's help to destroy it. So just because something happened doesn't mean that's the only way. He never said, I need you guys. I won't be able to destroy it without you guys. He said, let's let's shoot our strongest jutsus and destroy this shit. He took the best approach. He's obviously not going to say, don't help me, guys. I'll destroy it myself. He's not going to do that. That's stupid. He's He is a strategist. He's not going to do something stupid like that out of pride or whatever you want to call it. There is no way to 100% confirm nor deny if Itachi could have destroyed the Chibaku Tensei on his own. There's no way to deny or or, or say that's 100% true. So you could make a debate that he could have destroyed the Chibaku Tensei in his prime when they're against a pain, against pain, right? So that's just a, a fight I would like to see. I don't know why I ran it on so long. But that's another fight I would like to see, Itachi versus Pain. But yeah, guys, that's my take on this video and the fights I'd like to see. Let me know what your thoughts are on this video and what fights you'd like to see, right? What's some fights you'd like to see? Maybe 
me nor swag mentioned a fight that you would like to see right please let me know i'd love to hear it but yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up let me know what you thought about this video if you have any other recommendations let me know in the comments and i'll catch you in the next video is you the guy signing out peace